Good morning, happy Monday, Monday morning motivation. Love it, I love it, I love it. I love Mondays. If you are following me or you've seen my videos, you know that I always talk about how much I love Mondays. And I think like the old, um, in the old days, I used to feel like, um, oh, I messed up all weekend long, Mondays, I'll do better. Um, and now I feel like it's just a chance to get better. I don't have as many of those um, instances anymore. And, and I think that just comes with like time and experience and just going through the process of our journey, right? And learning what works for us and, and those kinds of things. And so today I wanted to come in and talk to you about like, how do we stay motivated? How do we continue to do this week after week, day after day? Like, what does that look like and why? And, and the things that you can have in place to create a situation where you can continue to stay motivated, have that consistency, create those healthy habits, and just keep stacking upon them, right? So I got some good tips for you, and I wanna make sure that um, I kind of line it up, tee it all up for you so that you can find your own success today, right now, this week, okay? So for me, in the very beginning, it was about finding the thing that got me motivated to start, right? So if it was like your weight loss journey or a new workout program that was coming out that you were excited for, or maybe it was a group that you were going to be joining and being a part of. Like for me, it's all those things. Like I get, I still get fired up every time we launch a new program. Um, I geek out when I get to like meet the trainers or work out with the trainers at live events. Like that's the kinds of stuff that like keeps me motivated. Now that we have the live classes, I can take a live class with my favorite super trainer. There's just nothing like that. And being a part of the podcast, I think that that for me is like all the things, right? And so you got to find the thing that pushes you, that gets you just to get those juices as floating. So whether it's a thing or a person or like a recognition, reward of some kind, right? Like, what is it individually for you that's going to get you motivated to start? Like, what does that look like for you? And for some people, unfortunately their motivation is gonna come when they've hit like the bottom where they feel their worst where they feel their heaviest or their most tired and they have no energy or something happens where um, it's a scary event that motivates them and so unfortunately that is true for some people but if you can start now and think about what are some things that I can start that's gonna motivate me to get started right so Pick a thing, and if you need help, obviously message me. Let me know, we can hash it out, go through it together, okay? But once you kind of start in your group or with your new fitness program, right, the newness and the excitement will kind of wear off after a while, right? And that's that's the truth of the matter, right? You're gonna start to do all the things and going through the process is not sexy. It's not, um, it's, it's those little mundane things that you do every single day that get you to the end result, right? So sometimes it can be hard to find motivation. How do you keep going, right? Um, you know, the things that motivate me are when I start to see results, right? So I know like from experience, I know that if I keep going, I will see results and feel motivated to keep going. And so, but that comes from experience, right? And time and things like that. So initially you have to sort of create like tricks to tell yourself in place so that you can kind of keep that momentum going, right? Your discipline and your habits are going to have to kick in at some point, okay? So for me, another really big thing that helps me to stay motivated is my morning routine. I, you will hear me talk till I'm blue in the face about the importance of starting my day off this way, but the routine starts the night before. I put out my clothes, um, in the bathroom. Um, I know what workout I'm doing. I have a calendar I'm following. So that momentum has, has already been there because I'm, I'm, you know, 12, 13 weeks into a program, whatever it is, right? Um, wake up in the morning, the alarm goes off. I go put on the clothes. I go downstairs. I fill my water. I pour my energize. I sit down. I start my reading, you know, like the one thing after another propels me to the next thing. Okay. I'm ready for the next thing because now it's a routine. Now I'm on autopilot and I'm just doing the things, right? I sit down, I do my prayers, my devotion, and I'm filling my cup with things that are I'm gratitude, grateful for, thinking about the day before and how uh, amazing those things were like, just pouring into myself, right? And kind of gearing myself up as I'm drinking my pre-workout, getting ready to go downstairs in my gym and crush my workout. And then because I know that I have so many of you guys waiting for me on the other end inside of our group, like it propels me to like push really hard and crush it. And then like, you know, 
share that afterwards. Like I felt awesome. It was leg day. Maybe I didn't want to do it, but I thought of you guys. And that's why I did. And now I'm so happy I did. And now I'm high on these endorphins all morning long. And that's going to go get me into my job or go get me into my, my busy day with my kids. Um, and that's kind of how that goes, right? Okay. So the other big part of it is like, we're talking about creating a routine, creating habits, right? One last little quick tip that I'm going to leave with you is how you kind of build a new habit, right? So a lot of times people are like, well, how do I start this habit? Or I want to, you know, add something to fitness or I want to add the fitness or the personal development or whatever it is, right? So whatever it is that you want to do, pick a thing, right? We'll pick the, let's pick the personal development thing for our um, example here. Um, but habit stacking is a huge, huge way to start to implement and add habits to your day without like messing it up too much, right? So for example, say, let's say you want to start to read 10 pages of personal development every day, um, read or listen to something, right? So what you can do is you pick something that you can stack it with partner it with, right? So let's say your routine is you wake up, you brush your teeth, you go downstairs and do your coffee, pour your cup of coffee, and then you sit at the counter for a few minutes, grab the book, sit down with your coffee while you're sipping it and start that personal development, right? And it's that simple. You've now just created a habit, like brushing your teeth. It's the same thing, right? So you're grabbing the coffee, your book maybe is by your coffee maker and you're all set to go. Um, and bam, you've created that habit. So you stack another thing that you want to add into something that you already are doing on autopilot. That's the beauty of habit stacking. Okay. So I hope that that was helpful. If you guys have any individual questions or concerns, please message me. Um, I love to help you walk through this. I love to help people find their motivation, um, give you guys tips and ideas on how to just make this an incredible week. Um, happy Monday. Happy that you're here. Um, have an incredible week, you guys, and I'll see you later.